Hello, this is Jason with Career Sprinkler Systems, and I'm going to show you how to use the Rainbird ESP Me 3 controller. So the first thing we see when we open up the door is the dial and the four buttons across here. So the way we use this controller is we point the dial where we would like to adjust and then adjust everything from the buttons. So when we open it, you'll see this controller is off. When the controller is off, your sprinkler should not be running. Uh, if your sprinklers are running when your controller is off, I would recommend going down and turning your water supply off or your pump off because you have an issue that is not to deal with your controller. When it dial is put to auto, anything that you have programmed in your controller will now come on automatically when it should. Now to set up the time and date, You'll see that we have the 15, that is the day of the month flashing. If this was different, we would just go up and adjust like so. Okay, so today is the 15th. Then we would go over to the month. Again, up or down. Today is it, it is April the month, 2025. And if we go over, you'll see now the hour. So if I want to change the hour and go here, there we go, 720 and it is 735. There we go. You've now set the time and date. You do not need to save or anything. Just continue to the next one on the dial. As you can see, we have first flashing and four. This is the start time. When you want your sprinklers to come on, we recommend running them early in the morning. This controller right now is set for 4 a.m. If I wanted to change that, again, we're just gonna add some more time. I'm at 5 a.m. now or take it off. Let's leave it at 5 a.m. Perfect. You'll notice that this says first. This is the first start time. Most controllers, you only want one start time per day or per watering day. Where this would come in effect where you would, would want multiple start times is maybe if you had um, some seed or sod, you would add an extra start time. We'll go to start time two and we could add maybe a evening start time if we had some seed or sod. So now it would be coming on at 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. So a lot of homeowners in this section, we get calls saying that our, your irrigation system is running multiple times per day. If this is the issue, this is where you're going to um, fix the issue. Taking off the um, multiple start times because you only want one. There we go. And you can have up to six start times in this controller. So there you go. We have first start time. 5 a.m. Continuing to run times. This is how long you would like each station to run for. For instance, this station is flashing number one and um, running for 13 minutes. If we wanted to move that to maybe 10 minutes, we would go here. So maybe you have your front flower beds on for 10 minutes. Um, just an example. And we're going to go to station two. Then we have a station running for 38 minutes. Let's move that down to a half an hour. All I'm doing is going plus and minus to where I would like it to go. And so on throughout your controller. Everybody's system has different sizes. You may have two zones, somebody may, may have 20 zones. So this is where you're gonna go through and adjust those um, settings. Next thing we wanna do is go to the watering days. So this is the days of the week that your controller will come on. Um, this one here is set for even days. Um, if you have a water restriction in your municipality, you may be set to even or odd watering days. To change it, all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down these two arrows. As you can see, now I'm on days of the week and I could um, just choose what day of the week by pressing the arrow. So I could turn Sunday on and it'll go through and you'll see Monday's flashing with the uh, circle with the um, cross through it means it's not going to run on those days. So if I want to turn Monday on, there you go, Tuesday off, Wednesday on, 
Thursday on and so on. Whatever you need for your property. Okay, and if we wanna to go to odd days again, again, we're just gonna hold this down. There you go. It'll run on odd days. Any odd day week, one, three, five, it will run. Even days and back to choosing the day of week you'd like. Weather sensors, if you have it, if you have a rain sensor, for instance, and you see this icon flashing, it means your system has been suspended due to rain. Seasonal adjustments. Um, all the controllers come with a seasonal adjustment of 100%. So what this allows you to do is bring your percentage of watering for all of your zones up and down. For instance, if you have 10 minutes of watering on station one and you move this to 110%, you're now gonna be watering for 11 minutes and this will adjust your whole controller up and down on a macro percentage setting. This is easy, easier than to going to each individual zone and moving it up or down. And again, we can move it up to as high as you want or as low as you want. If it's very you know, cool in the spring, you don't want to play with your settings, maybe you're going to bump this down to 70%. Uh, going forward, you have a flow control or a flow sensor. If you have one wired to your system, this is where you're going to um, see this icon flashing um, if you have one. Not many systems do, but you may. Manual watering. This is great for testing. Um, so for instance, it comes at two minutes. If you want to go out and check your irrigation system, you may want to bump this to three minutes and then press to hold. Now your system is running. You can see this icon. This is the watering icon. Um, you now have three minutes on each zone to walk around your property and look at each zone for three minutes and, you know, and not have to go back to the controller to put on the next zone to test it. You can just easily walk around and do a test. Uh, once the test is done, it'll just go back to um, its regular settings and away you go. So to turn off, you can still see the eye cans watering here. We're just going to turn it off, let it sit there for a couple seconds. And you'll now see the controller will turn off. There you have it.